Oh, hey, let me just move this tequila to the side here. So you might have guessed what we were talking about today, but today's video is going to be about what I discovered by not drinking for a month and why I might give this challenge to you. You might want to take me up on it and see what you discover. So I have some notes because it's kind of an important topic, a big topic, lots and lots of questions from my clients about what alcohol to drink, what can they drink, what should they drink, what's the best, that sort of thing. So I just kind of want to get right into it. But first, um, if you haven't joined me before, my name is Carmen Olin. I'm a holistic nutritionist, personal empowerment coach, and transformational speaker. And so basically all those words just mean I help ambitious women just like you learn sustainable health habits, get out of the never ending to-do list, stop limiting beliefs so you can have endless energy, feel fucking amazing, and live the life of your dreams. So let's just talk about why me personally, I wanted to not drink alcohol for a month. So I had noticed a few things about my body. I just, I was always having excess inflammation. My skin, I was having a lot more acne. Now I have naturally oily skin and which is good on one hand because that means like less wrinkles as you get older. Um, but bad in the fact that nobody really wants to have blemishes, but I noticed a ton more and not just around like my cycle. So I noticed that, um, I noticed that I was just drinking, once I started drinking maybe on the weekends, then I would drink more during the week and it was becoming like a normal. And drinking it should not be like a normal. It shouldn't be like an everyday health habit. So like my everyday health habits are protecting my energy, nourishing my body, practicing daily movement, slowing the fuck down to check in with myself every day. And drinking just did not fit in there. So I decided to do that. And the first thing that I noticed was way more clarity. So oftentimes, even though I wasn't like drinking to excess, so I would tell you that like when I was younger, I would drink to excess. I would actually let alcohol like be my confidence booster and I know a lot of people have experienced this so when you have low confidence if you go ahead and drink alcohol there's actually um, alcohol turns off this like junction this part in your brain that actually turns off that part where you care what other people think about you it's a really interesting concept and so that's why you kind of like lose your inhibitions and maybe do things that you wouldn't normally do so anyway, back then, yeah, drink too much. Now, you know, maybe have a Bloody Mary, have a couple of vodka sodas, something like that. If you know me, I love my Bloody Marys and my ginger vodka. Those are my things with club soda, but just not every day. So the first thing I noticed was just a lot more clarity. Even if I would just have one or two drinks, I would notice the next day my mood was just a little bit down. I wasn't showing up as fully as I want to every day. And it's really, really, really important that I show up and shine every single day. Because I know when I do that, then I empower you to do the same. And that's just really important to me in life. Uh, that's like my biggest why is when I empower you, then you're gonna empower someone else. It's just going to be this huge ripple effect. Um, the other thing was like my creativity wasn't as good. I wasn't as creative. I couldn't cre create good content to bring you information, tips, resources, tools to be able to change your life, to be able to connect with you like I am now. Um, it was just very, very amazing. And of course, I noticed my skin cleared up a little bit more. My eyes were brighter, way less inflammation. I automatically lost some weight that I was just like holding on to water in my body. And if you think about it, you know, your liver really has to detox that alcohol. And your liver is your body's detoxifying organ. It's also your fat burning organ. So you're going to have a way harder time losing any weight if you're trying to lose weight. And your body is just not going to um, run optimally right? You're not going to achieve optimal health if you're drinking all the time. Um, so those were kind of like the physical things. Um, the other like deeper things is it really an allows me to fill what I need to fill. So alcohol, I would use it before maybe like, oh, as a stress reliever, but really that means like numbing out, right? Like not feeling something that you need to fill. And for a long time before I went on this like journey of like health and self-awareness and self-love and spiritual growth, you know, I would just be fine all the time. I didn't feel anything. I was just like vanilla. I was mediocre. I was the one that was just responsible, take care of everything. And so not drinking allows me to really check in with myself and feel how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling sad or down or excited or happy or joyful or whatever, like I can feel that. 
and I love that. The other thing it does is it doesn't like have me build fake relationships. And not that um, when you drink you have fake relationships, and I don't want anybody to think I'm judging them by if you're drink if you drink like by posting this video. This is just what I observed and just sharing it with you. And hey, maybe you might want to try it. So like I don't want to just talk about the weather. And I think back to some of my friends that the only thing that we did together was drink, and maybe we're not as close anymore. I remember when I went through a period, because um, I do some amateur like bodybuilding fitness competitions, I went through a period of not drinking. And I remember a friend saying to me, oh, when is fun Carmen going to be back? Like, what does that mean? You know, so that wasn't always fun to hear. Um, but I remember sticking to my guns then and it felt pretty good too. And it feels really good now because I don't just want to, you know, like fuck small talk. I want to get to know people. I want to build relationships with them, figure out what they're passionate about, like how I can help them in their life and how we can partner together and just like really create like this amazing experience for each other with our relationship and our friendship. Um, it also brings my spouse and I closer together. Um, I know when we drink, like even if something's small and maybe we haven't talked about it, like it's heightened, like emotions are heightened and it's more often that maybe you might like say something or, you know, get in a little tiff if you are drinking because your emotions are heightened. And again, it kind of turns off that junction in your brain that you care about what other people think or feel. So, um, yeah, the other thing I started thinking about is like, why does everything in society have to do with drinking? And I myself am guilty of that because I do love Bloody Marys. And one thing I'm doing this year is called the Permission Slip Tour. So I'm doing this in five cities. It's a women's empowerment event. It is like a game changer. If you've not gone to this, I'm throwing one in Colorado Springs in April. I'm doing one um, in June in Stockton, California. Then I'm gonna be doing one in Portland in August. And then in the fall doing one one in the Phoenix Scottsdale area. Um, it's small, intimate, only 20 or 30 women, and we keep it at that so we can really make some changes. But I include Bloody Marys with that. And it's just a fun thing. Again, it's more of a society thing, and I do love Bloody Marys. Um, but you don't have to drink them if you come, and we have other options available and stuff in your goodie bags that you can like add to your water, electrolytes and stuff. But society, and see, I, I even did it myself with my event, like includes alcohol with everything and so I think sometimes like we feel guilty or shame or we don't want to make people feel bad and so we drink because they're drinking it's the same thing with food and like I'm totally over that like I order the weirdest food I bring food in my purse I do whatever to be able to nourish my body why should it be any different with drinking so I know sometimes I'll go out and order a club soda with an orange and I like that. I love the flavor of it because I drink flat water like all day long, like over a gallon, a gallon and a half of water. And so it's nice to have something different. And then if, if you don't want to have that conversation, hey, I'm not drinking right now, then you can kind of look like you're drinking. But I recently was at um, an event last weekend in Portland I was speaking at and someone, people were offering me drinks or asking about things and I just, I shared with someone, a really amazing individual, and I shared with her that I wasn't drinking right now and it was just something that was important to me and so I was doing that. Um, and she, she thought that was really awesome. So I do want to give a shout out to while I'm talking about this, my friend Amanda in Albany, she has been not drinking for a number of months now and she just feels so amazing and she looks amazing and she's doing really, really cool things. So I, down below, I'll like link her stuff so you can check her out. Um, the last thing is like, so if you're dating right now and all of your dates include alcohol, it's going to be really hard to go deep with that person. It's going to be really hard to make a connection. So I challenge you on that. Like do something that doesn't include alcohol. Maybe later go on a date where you have wine or have a drink or something like that, but don't have the first date like be with alcohol. So I don't know. It's just been a pretty interesting experiment. I'm loving it. I'm feeling good. I love the fact that I don't like have that inflammation in my body. I don't feel bad like the next day. You know, something I always ask myself in the morning when I'm doing my morning routine is how do I want to feel today? But wouldn't it be cool like at nighttime before we go out and if people are drinking, we set an intention and think about how do I want to feel tomorrow and then decide to drink or not based on how you want to feel tomorrow? Same idea with food. Like if you know like eating crappy food is going to make you feel bad tomorrow, like then set an intention to nourish your body. Because like it's all about like what makes us feel good. We don't need to feel bad or feel shame or guilty or like ha we have to drink or eat something around other people. 
So overall, like more clarity, more creativity, you know, I'm better looking, lost some weight. Um, you know, my liver's doing a lot better now because it doesn't have to defog detox my body with that alcohol, more self-awareness. I'm able to go deeper in my relationships with my friendships, with my relationship with my husband. Like it's just been really amazing. So I love, 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 love. I please ask that you share this video um, because I know it can benefit so many people. Um, if you're going to try it, try it out, maybe for a week, a month, whatever, um, comment below. Let's have a little conversation. Send me a DM, send me a message. I want to hear about this, but please, please share this video and I can't wait to chat to, with you about this important topic. Until next time, make sure to just like be kind to others, be kind to yourself so you can feel amazing and live your best life. Thanks for joining me.